London, and then a little bit in Liverpool, and then we headed back to the Central in Leicestershire, and then did the okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. So you've been in the UK? Yes. That was just hard about that. Um, in 2019, uh, my band played the Long Road Festival in Leicestershire, okay. which was really cool opportunity so got to spend some time there and had plans to head back and then there was a pandemic and so nice. <laughs> haven't made it back yet but. so you must come back <laughs> yes absolutely uh, okay my dear uh, so uh, can you tell us what's your name and what do you do uh, my name is beth snap and i am a americana singer songwriter nice yep. okay and opposed to that nice. oh, thank you thank you thank you <laughs> <Not> too loud <laughs> otherwise <laughs> we're we're disrupt. Disrupt the some and, uh, okay, Maria. Um, so, where did you grow up? Did you grow up nearby, or far, I did. I grew here? up about an hour from here, okay. um, right where the uh, state of Tennessee and Virginia come together. Okay, mm. right in the middle of the Appalachian Mountains. So. The border. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Do you speak both accents? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Can I like, understand you both states? I, I speak fluent Appalachianese. Sure. Yeah. Appalachianese. Okay. I love that. That's good. That's good. <laughs> It's something I had to deal with, yeah, you know, moving from Italy to, to the UK. Yeah. Right. I still don't understand them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still there. And uh, so do you, did you grow up in a family of musicians or did you do something? Um... Family of singers. My okay. mom and aunt and cousin sang in a gospel trio. And, um... Are you better than them now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like they're watching. They, yeah. Hi, they, mom. they would be very sweet and, and say that, but they're very good. They are very good. Okay. And uh, my grandmother played piano. Um, I think the area that we are immersed in, there's just, there's a lot of music. There's a lot of musical heritage. Mm. Um, a lot of singers, you know, especially growing up, you know, previous decades, a previous time, mm -hmm. especially in the Depression. This was a pretty poor area and yeah. not everybody... It's quite a contrast that, uh, yeah. that during the Depression there were a lot of singers, yeah. Well, yeah. It's something that would make you feel happy, you know? know? It's a, yeah, it was a family sad tradition, time, sad lots of time, sing singing. But, but the family traditions, cultural traditions, and not everybody could afford instruments. So mm. your voice was your instrument. And so oh. people would get together and have singings and yes. you can do that for free, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. that. That's a good point, yeah. 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 And uh, so what do you think about? What are your topics? So one of the, um, during the workshop was about you leaving your boyfriend or he was leaving you? Oh, no, no, no. no. That one was, uh, no, quite the opposite. That one was about my husband. And oh, your ha husband. We haven't You're left anybody together? yet. Yeah, we're still oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No. I just enjoyed the music. No, thank you. <laughs> I, was, I was enjoying the, the We were the transported by, the, by your voice. <laughs> Maybe my I voice, the, the proper story <laughs> my voice just sounded really sad, but no, it was actually... <laughs> It was actually how I actually finally found someone that I haven't yeah. gotten sick of, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, as far as what I write about, um, I think there's always this interesting interplay and juxtaposition between, like, there's always a little little tinges of sadness and happy moments mm. and always happy tinges and sad moments. And, mm. you know, there's always light and dark in any scenario. And, yeah. and you can appreciate that. And I think that comes out thematically in my songs quite a bit. Okay, what has been your ch uh, challenge with you, within yourself, like uh, the, maybe psychologically speaking? Yeah. Oh, just being brave enough to get up and do it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think I got kind Were of... Were you scared? Yeah, at yeah. First? Mm -hmm. I got a late start on it because I think I missed some opportunities just because I was too afraid to do it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. so I've been trying to honestly care less. I, it mm -hmm. sounds silly, but... Um, one of the things I told myself during the pandemic when music just totally went away mm -hmm. was it's like, why do you, why do you get so worked up? Why do you get so anxious when obviously life had a very different perspective at that time? And mm -hmm. so I told myself if, and when everything came back, I was I, going to. I know to, what I mean. I know what I mean. Yeah. But, um, you know, for me actually worked, uh, the opposite. Really? You know, when I was work, uh, caring less, it was because it was something that I wasn't uh, truly passionate about. Mm -hmm. And instead, I think that caring, uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's there. If you care, you need yes. to care. You need to get professional, 100% yes. of the resources. Sure. And I think that you, you just need to handle the pressure. Well, it's... That you can resolve the methods. Care, it's caring absolutely about Sorry what, you're, the, what you're yeah. doing. Mm -hmm. But I cared too much about failing, which then... Oh, no, 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 yes. Uh, created a certain amount of fear. I oh, cared, no, 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 sure. I cared yeah, too yeah. much about what people it, yeah. thought. Yeah, yeah. I cared oh, too I much about mean, oh, no, messing no, no, up. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, course, yeah, and yeah. so so it yeah. was like, oh, no, absolutely be passionate and be driven. 
but so don't totally correct, yeah. take it so seriously that you've crippled yourself. Mm -hmm. And I, I would do that so often. And so it was like remembering what's important in life. And actually by doing that and caring less about those mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. I actually started, people started noticing I was performing better. I was yeah. writing differently and it made it took some of the anxiety away and made space for creativity. Nice. And, yes. and you know, also this, uh, probably yeah. more oh, um, <laughs> uh, The rule of the show is that when we upload, we all upload. I was saying you were um, more focused on your performance, on, on your craft, and then you were letting all the rest, like the outside yeah. Uh, yeah. influences. And maybe not... Influence you. Exactly. In the first place. Yeah, and then... Um, being a little too hard on myself if something didn't go exactly mm. the right way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's really, you can want to improve upon what you're doing, mm -hmm. but when you're beating yourself up for little mistakes, you know, mistakes are how we learn. Oh, absolutely. And so having to learn not to kind of beat myself up so much when things didn't go exactly yeah. the way yeah. I wanted them to go. Yeah, but yeah every fa this. failing is a, is a testing. Exactly. I mean, uh, uh, Everyone knows uh, how much you know how much testing I've done. <laughs> I fail. I fail every now and second. I beat myself up with a baseball bat. I'm constantly <laughs> testing in beta. I'm a beta version of myself. <laughs> yes, I never all get to the, <laughs> to the alpha version. Yeah. <laughs> you see, uh, I put the, the sunglasses on top of the head yeah. to match you. To yeah. mimic. Oh, nice. Yeah, to, to balance. See, to balance. We need well. another pair of sunglasses yeah, for that. I should have brought mine. You should brought one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and so um, so now you're very successful. You've released a few albums. I have been yeah. working on a fourth project um, that hopefully will be out next year that I'm pretty excited to share, you know, bring to the world. Mm. Um, I think, you know, it depends on how you define success. In some ways, my success <laughs> is small. Sorry. But, oh, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> we have another one. No. <laughs> 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 I was looking for it. <laughs> it's, in, it's up there somewhere. Yeah. Um, it's actually on no, my hand. There, there you go. You just can't hold on to it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, you so you're about, success, oh, you define yeah, success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think my successes have been relatively small, but um, but I'm okay with that, you know. And well, I've had actually, to kind of redefine yeah. my success this, these past few years of how do I want to grow. Mm. Um, and honestly, mm. so defining your product or defining what you want, to, what kind of experience in life you wanna yes, you wanna have? Exactly, yeah? exactly. Like, do you wanna be on the road, or maybe you wanna stay more local? Right. I um, that was one thing I what thought I want? wanted. Sorry. I thought I wanted that, yeah. and in 2019, <laughs> I was gone on the road all the time, mm -hmm. and I was miserable. And so it, then you know, in 2020, you everything didn't like stopped. The hotels, so the <laughs> restaurants. Uh, no, I mean, it, as, you know, the worst thing, I think, I got to see all of these really cool places and mm -hmm. have really cool experiences. And mm -hmm. sometimes they were with my band, but largely it was, I was doing solo tours mm. and it was just incredibly lonely. And you can see mm. all these wonderful things, but if you don't have anybody to share them with, for, for me, oh, it, okay. it got really old. Um, mm. And so I started learning that I really appreciate the writing aspect. My favorite thing is being in the studio and maybe gearing towards doing more studio work That's and then traveling good, when it makes, yeah. makes sense. Like if it makes sense for the opportunity, I still absolutely love to travel, but I also love home and finding that balance has been interesting. I know what you mean. Interesting, so, yes. So because we've had the, the show uh, done remotely in studio, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and now we do the show uh, like on the road mm -hmm. and I can see that uh, the show takes uh, like 30% of the time mm -hmm. and so now the 70% of the time is between traveling and arranging uh, hotels and stuff yes. when instead uh, once you're there you can do 80% uh, just studio, a creative it's... part in studio mm -hmm. and uh, I know I know what you mean exactly and yeah, uh, it's that a makes very sense. good point yeah. uh, yes yeah. uh, and plus you're close to the people that you love in, in your husband, your husband, your, yeah. your, yeah. you know, your family. Probably, exactly. Right? Yes. Much. yes. Oh, mm -hmm. I, yeah. Me too. I, I love to be, to stay close by my family, mm -hmm. having those fights. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I love, I'm a dad. You know, I love it. <laughs> Let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's so funny. But I mean, no, no, no. Now should we say hi to your mom and dad? Yeah, you let's say, say hi, hi guys. Uh, love you so much. Yeah. <laughs> the same way you love me. <laughs> 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 talking about family. My family. Uh, <laughs> is your family? 
<laughs> is your family supportive of what oh, yeah, you, yeah. you do? Oh, absolutely. Do they know yeah. what you do? <laughs> they do. They, they don't. Actually... They don't know what I do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> is that how they stay supportive? They just, you know, just turn just... a blind eye? And, you know, no. So, Marka, have you become an engineer? <laughs> uh, getting that. Still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, my family has been incredibly supportive. Um, there have been times where I'm kind of over it, you know, and they're uh -huh. the ones being like, you know, Pull up your bootstraps, you know. Yeah, you get nice. back to it. You go get, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Good. yeah, it's good. And a plus to this to be supportive. Encouraging yeah. and yeah. Yes. Uh, push, push. Yeah, <laughs> they'll uh, they'll be here. We're, I'm playing with the songwriter around on Wednesday or today, but um, Friday with my band, my, my family will be there for that. So they'll be nice. they'll be cheering. Us on. <laughs> How long have you been doing this profession for? And what wish you you knew what when you started? When I started, I was actually in grad school. Mm. And so very young. Yeah, but you're still very young. Well, compared to a lot of people, I feel like I got a late start. Um, mm. I never played an original out in public till I guess I was like 23, and a lot of people start a little earlier than that. Um, and that was just playing a song out. It was a few years. I'm after so that. jealous of that. <laughs> <you know? laughs> um, but it was a few years out from there that I actually started. Mm -hmm. um, you know playing fairly professionally and I guess in total that's been 10 years maybe a little, a little more than that mm -hmm. but um actually some of the people that first heard me whenever I um came out to some open mics and started playing was Tim Stafford of Blue Highway and we we're mm -hmm. here at the Blue Highway Fest and um his co-writer that he writes a lot with Bobby Starnes who is here um I recorded my first two albums in his studio Tim produced my second album but they those guys have really encouraged my career and um i mean it was an honor that they asked me to you know be here and be a part of the festival yeah. but and it's, it's an honor because mm -hmm. they had a lot of faith in me over the years mm -hmm. a lot of times when i didn't have as much faith as they had you know? yeah that, that that happens yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's why every morning i go to the mirror and say you are the best <laughs> <laughs> this inspiration <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in Turkey, so you went 23 when you started to, uh, to perform in public uh, for the first time? Yeah, just roughly. open mics, very. Open mics, you know, yeah. yeah. And uh, what age are you on at the moment? <laughs> I'm 38. Oh, 38, okay. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're 25. Oh, yeah, that's why you, right, I was yeah. Asking, yeah. Well, you, you look, look very much young. younger. Oh, good. I haven't yeah. even, and I haven't had my Botox touched up lately, so it's <laughs> interesting. You know. Well, like, actually, I'm 40, and I'm full hair wife. <laughs> I love it. Oh, bless you. Love you. you see, guys? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, send me some comments. Or <laughs> some messages. Um, and are you supportive the same way with your children? Do you have children? Um, no, that's a, you know, no, we're kind of hoping it might be a thing. Oh. oh, you know, I'm not supportive at all. They're awful. No, <laughs> um, no, we do not have kids. We would we would like to be able to do that. We'll see what the next year or two brings as far as okay, that, that's that very goes. Good. Yeah. And a plus to that as well, we don't have children. So <laughs> right. plus, uh, we're very supportive of that. <laughs> And we're very supportive of our lack of children. <laughs> and applause to everyone that has got multiple children so they can yes, repopulate the, the globe you. because it's not up to us. <laughs> it's not going to happen. And, uh, and what about your... It's too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what about your husband? Is he like in the music industry as well? or uh, He's not. Um, really he different? owns his own business. He's in a you know totally different field. However, um, mm. what's really interesting is he is a... His love for music and his discernment mm. oftentimes is so much better than mine. Mm. The way he can um, just hear a song and and um, appreciate, you know, lyrical content, um, appreciate very specific things, oftentimes things that I didn't even catch myself. Mm. And so to have somebody who's such an avid listener, an avid lover of music, like he's the one that's going to tell me about like a new person he's heard of and... Um, it works. It's it. It honestly works probably well that I've dated musicians before, and that didn't work well. <laughs> so because kinda, of competition. Uh, that... Yeah, when it doesn't have to be. I'm not a particularly competitive person, but I've been in situations where all of a sudden I was put in a competition that I didn't ask uh -huh. to be in, and mm. yeah. it was just so awkward. And so at one point in time, I was like, "Oh, I'm never going to date a musician." <laughs> so to have somebody who is not a musician but who is a music lover to me is like the perfect combination. Yeah, it's like the yeah, the yeah, other yeah. side. It's yeah. still music, but the other side. So yeah. it's kind of complementing. <clears throat> yeah, what like you're there's doing definitely in a, a balance. Enriching way, mm -hmm. probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if I if I play him one of my songs and he actually likes it, that 
actually means something to me. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Because he, he has a discerning taste. <laughs> I love that. I love yeah. that. Yeah. It's a good point. I, I think <laughs> something that I noticed is that um, because we work together on, on the show, you know, mm. and, um, and this put us together on working towards something uh, on the same project. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think that this is something that can work for any partners. Even mm-hmm. people that, that, that are not necessarily in a um, loving relationship, uh, right? You know, but even friendships, mm-hmm. and uh, they work as long mm-hmm. as, as you're on the same project. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yes, and learning how to work together, w- yeah. not just in that kind of a relationship, but especially in a relationship or a marriage, um, that can be hard work. So mm-hmm. if you can figure out how to work together toward a common goal, like that's a that's like huge core value that is really indicative yeah. of the relationship, right? Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you ever um, let him have a, having a say on, on on your songwriting, or, or at least let him believe that, you, that he has a say? <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good advice. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, he doesn't he doesn't ask to be part of that. Like he doesn't really offer that. Um, but now he will listen. Like if I ask him to, you know listen to something and get feedback like if i ask for feedback he's always open he's always ready, yeah. i think mm-hmm. he's because he's a smart man he doesn't necessarily just <laughs> offer it if i've not asked <laughs> <laughs> it's, good. it's good as well yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah and um getting back to your music mm-hmm. and uh your songwriting, because you write your own music yes. as well right yes. and why americana in particular hmm. and uh, And uh, what do you love to write about? Um, The reason Americana is just because I got put in there by default, I think. And I don't even know that I fit in that category. I don't fit in any category, which is... That can be a good thing. We are thing. there. We, we, <laughs> right. We've been on fitting categories. For yeah. Like so I'm still years. finding my feet. Right. There <laughs> you go. There you go. Um, they yeah. are at the bottom of your leg. I know. They're very big and I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true at all. Um, Sorry, but no, it can be a detriment because I've, I have taken so many different genres of music and I serve the song however it needs to be served. So uh, sometimes something's going to sound more folk. Sometimes it sounds more pop. Mm. Sometimes mm. it sounds more country or like true Americana. Um, and, but because of that, all of those are, you know, kind of American genres that all mm. fall under the umbrella of Americana. Mm-hmm. And so it's just, it's a catch all phrase sometimes I think. And, um, I want you to define it because exactly you, you are from the inside. Yeah. Uh, um, you, you, know, you know, I think just a lot of different genres that, um, have its have, have American roots, um, mm. you know, like country and some of the, you know, folk singers from, from earlier decades, um, like 20th century, bluegrass. Like older. yeah, yeah, 20th century, and, older. and even like jazz can kind of fall in there mm. to a certain extent, and blues can fall in there mm. to a certain extent. Rock, uh, a little bit, maybe, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> rap. <laughs> That's <laughs> Indian much. rap. You're maybe going too far less. now. That's a little further reaching. Um, but, no, I think... And a lot of Americana music today sounds more like what country music used to be. Mm. You know, it's the From country the genre has shifted. Yeah, it's a, like country music that you would hear more in the 60s, 70s. Mm. It seems to be more considered Americana now. So it's it's a shifting genre and I don't exactly know how I shift with it. And um, Is there one particular uh, genre of this, all this genre under this big right. umbrella that you... You feel it's more in your swings, in your vocal cords, I would say, more um, than swings. But <laughs> so, no, but I think what happens is I use, I take a lot from folk. I take a lot from bluegrass. Mm. I take a lot from um, probably those two primarily. Mm. But I think what it comes down to is that those are a lot of styles of music that you hear when you grow up in the mountains. And so I think it's not necessarily the genre that ties into my music. It's mm. it's my heritage and the culture from being mm. around here mm-hmm. that somehow like regardless of what I do that's where the roots are and that's how it's rooted it's just would you mysterious. ever venture out of this roots oh yeah and I um I and I like doing that um like opera I, yes yeah <laughs> no <laughs> I would be immediately rejected um for a moment I was like wow you're like huh really good this. yeah um <laughs> No, I've I've had opportunities to do pop songs mm. and mm. um even things with like a little bit of like an EDM twinge 
to it. Mm. And I love that. Like, I love, I just love singing. And so, yeah, like throw another genre at me, maybe not opera, but, uh, <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, I, I love those opportunities. Maybe gospel. Gospel. Could, yeah, could, I've done could some be gospel. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, uh, like a natural transition. Yeah, uh, yeah. A gospel, has... definitely. We have a couple gospel songs, and um, and that that I would consider that um, a lot of Americana roots. You can hear yeah. a lot of gospel in Americana mm. music for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You get the best things when you mix up elements that are yeah. not supposed to be together. Yeah, sometimes we do that. Like we've we've done like bluegrass covers of you know pop songs mm -hmm. or even hip hop songs and. It's fun, you know. Yeah, it's just good. To give yeah. it a different life. Yeah, absolutely. It helps you getting out of your of your your usual zone. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. And uh, experiencing. And the, the like, do you usually go hunting before a workshop? Or like, what do you have on your hand? You have a few. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a way of mixing up elements. I'm not supposed you to. You know, together, yeah. actually, it does look like that. I was about to say it might have been one of my cats, I but my cats aren't that away, aggressive. Yeah. Um, no, actually, this. <laughs> I was helping my husband <laughs> cut wood. That was from cutting wood, actually. Carrying wood? C cutting. Cutting. Oh, cutting wood. I mean, he yeah. was doing the wood cutting, but I was doing the stacking and moving. So I've like, I've picked up a log somewhere. And, yeah. yeah. And that inspired the song, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> and I was cutting wood with you. I got actually. cut myself instead. <laughs> what are the metaphors in there? You know? well, the real, actually. It's in the heart. It's, uh, <laughs> it was bleeding, <laughs> the love, <laughs> the pain from the wood cutting. <laughs> 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 Actually, talking about uh, <laughs> songs and uh, how do you get inspired <laughs> on writing songs? Oh. And what do you like to write about um, the most? You know, a lot of things. I think a lot of my songs come from conversations that I've had with people. Mm. Um, just other people's you're gonna insights. Have a song Marco, get about ready. Yep. He's gonna write. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to write a song about an interview about where we start yeah. talking about cutting wood with Italians. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, but yeah, no, just a conversation that I've had um, and. I like hearing different people's perspectives mm. on just different life topics. And I guess mm. that's, that's what most of my songs are about. There's not a lot of like ballads or stories. It's, it's concepts that I just feel like hit us all, all the time, which I mean, that's how a lot of people write. That's not necessarily anything special, but um, I love hearing a different perspective from somebody that maybe something I wouldn't have considered, but the universality of it and, than mm. writing around mm. that. Um, I've learned, I just learned so much from people and I, I guess I just try to share what I've learned, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Mm, yeah, but yeah. Do, you, do you ever go, uh, because usually when I acquire like a new, uh, I don't know, sort of ecological element uh, mm -hmm. or something, mm -hmm. first, First and foremost, I test it out on, on myself. Mm -hmm. I told Caloni. No, you that. test me first. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good experience for her. Yeah. This is my first test. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> After that, I go for, for a couple of hours. I document myself, you know, <laughs> because I want to release something that potentially has a, um, a, a true impact mm -hmm. that is real, you mm -hmm. know, that is not something I'm making up. It doesn't make any sense. Right. You know? And uh, I always fail at, at, at this point. <laughs> but what about you? Do you always... Do you often go and document yourself? Um, or do you say, you know, you know, I feel this, I'm going to write a song? Yeah, it, as far as documenting myself, I, I kid around sometimes in my live shows that most of my, like, motivating songs, like, if you, like, you know, pick yourself up and, and go, it's mm. because I, what was happening is I was having some massive meltdown behind the scenes mm. and I was having mm. a pity party and then I was telling myself to be a big girl and, okay. <laughs> and, okay. and act better, you know? And so people were like, oh, that's so inspiring. I'm like, yeah, it's because I was acting like a jerk earlier, but whatever, you know? <laughs> so as far as but like... I'm very nice. <laughs> yeah, um, I was just having a temper tantrum like a three-year-old. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, I think the ability to kind of <laughs> look in oneself and for the strengths and weaknesses and share that you know mm -hmm. mm. yeah yeah i think kind of what you're saying i think like yeah. comedy even best songs comes from drama right <laughs> yeah yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing exciting in a comfortable life right yes, yeah, yes. exactly and yeah. and being able to just kind of be authentic and share your discomfort Absolutely. even when you've made a mistake it's you know it's like a it's a hard place but i think it's important and 
you know, I'm so good, or not, I won't say I'm so good, but I'd really do try to give people. <laughs> I love this. I'm so good. No, I'm so good. I'm so beautiful. No, I'm not good. No, I, I try really hard to give other people grace, and I'm really bad at giving myself grace, you know, mm. a lot of times. Mm. And so, um, but I think one of the best ways we can teach people like self love and self forgiveness and all of those mm -hmm. things is to demonstrate it. You know, you can talk a game all day long, but if you don't, if you don't live it, then what you're saying doesn't have much value. Oh, and so absolutely. I've, yeah. I've really had to learn, I'm going to have to start d doing better by my own self to kind of preach what I would love to see for other people. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It has to start with it. Yeah, way. absolutely. There is no yes, way so. that you can, uh, you have to leave it to breathe it to, Feel the pain. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Even when it's that you really do. Erica, That's I what feel I do the pain the time. when you're preaching. I mean, uh, <laughs> I feel... we've been through that. I know. <laughs> I use this as a, as a uh, couple therapy, you know? Yes. Right? So, Erica, this is established that she, uh, she's on, on my same page, you know? <laughs> We can move on. <laughs> Actually, you're talking about, <laughs> about pain and finding <laughs> pain. yourself and starting with you. I'm still finding myself. Mm -hmm. And I can see that you, you were pretty sure when you said, I'm a singer, I'm an American singer, I'm a songwriter. Mm -hmm. What does it mean for you? Have you found exactly what it means for you? Or no, you are still it doesn't, finding yourself? <laughs> I, I am still finding myself, but I think the biggest shift the past couple of years is I'm giving myself permission to say, no, I have no idea what that means. And mm -hmm. I actually feel much more rested in that because I thought I had to have it defined and I had to have an answer. But the truth is that it's okay to say I'm still figuring it out. And I Absolutely, think by yes. giving myself the grace to say, I don't have to have the answers right now. <clears throat> it's, I've felt more, um, rested in that. Um, because yeah, it's a very good point. Yeah. That's a very good point. I, I mean, remember the when same, I, uh, yeah. I remember when I, uh, the, I've got a double background. I was a, a computer science and automation engineer. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and then I started a, a career in acting, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, after a while, uh, the, I didn't like acting anymore. You know? mm -hmm. it, was, it was not true for me, at least. It's a great profession. Mm -hmm. but, um, but the moment that I said, okay, I'm not an actor, you mm -hmm. know, I don't want to go there, uh, I had this relief. So I, uh, so I, you I didn't let it go. You made the right decision. Like you I made felt the right it. decision. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I thought that that was that wasn't right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I didn't have any fun anymore. Mm -hmm. So instead, this is fun for me. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. for the guests, but <laughs> <laughs> not for oh, Erica. I just uh... <laughs> she's about to cry, but I'm having a good time. No. Um, no, I get that. Well, I'm also I'm actually also an occupational therapist and a massage therapist oh. and a business oh. owner. I own my own business, um, mm. so it's kind of. One question for me was like, are you really a, a songwriter mm. if you're not doing mm. it full time? Like, okay. felt a little bit like imposter syndrome, you know? Uh, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you gotta do it. Uh, I mean, 100 percent of the time, even if you're not performing, uh, because you're gonna have to do other tasks, you know, related to the to, to the business. Uh, sing, songwriting. Uh, sure. Singing is a it's a business. It is a business, but I I felt like if I was not devoting 100% of my life to that business, do I have the right to call myself one? Um, mm -hmm. And that was difficult, but I've learned that I can enjoy this other profession until it's not fun anymore. Mm -hmm. I can enjoy songwriting maybe until it's not fun anymore, but I don't have to um, pigeonhole myself into one area. Like it's okay to be both of these things. Um, and then it ebbs and flows the percentage. Like sometimes I'm 90% songwriter, but there's this business in the background. And then sometimes I'm focusing yeah, you, on a you business. You gotta let it but, go. One has to go. No. It has to be just one. Nope. Plan A. Nope. You wanna keep two? Plan A is that I can do whatever I want. That's mm. a, it's a good way to see it. Yeah. You know, no, you, you can even have, but, but having just one purpose uh, with mm -hmm. one goal, that is the one that that defines yourself and puts you oh, at, at peace if, unless you are still but if you are still finding two yourself things so always gonna go, oh, should also, go there or should right go there? but thank goodness you know leonardo da vinci didn't look at it that way you know uh, you know like, like the renaissance people they were it was okay to um experiment and dabble and if it's true to yourself you know if, if you feel like your passion or your life's goal is to pick that one thing and devote to it, then I think that's fine. I think if also you enjoy these different facets of life and mm. you want to be a part of them and you can define what it means to be successful, um, mm. I'm, I mean, I'm going to do that. You can, you, you definitely can even do 10 things. So. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
But I mean, I think it just depends on. It, I think if you look at it in an uh, empirical way, so experimenting right way, so why do I still experiment? It could be of great help to understand yourself mm -hmm. and what you would like mm -hmm. to probably focus more time mm -hmm. on the most. I, so yeah. I think that's, that, that's also a good thing. It is going to ebb and flow throughout life. Mm -hmm. um, in at, at one point in time, probably one of those things may go by the wayside. Mm -hmm. And if it does, that that's fine. But honestly, if, if you buy the token... If, uh, the theory is that you you have one purpose. All the things that I love to do revolve around healing, like the healing arts. Mm -hmm. And songwriting yeah. can be very healing Yeah, me too. too. So therefore, I mean, if I'm going to pick one thing, I'm picking healing. Mm -hmm. um, now, I can do that from this business over here. I can do that from songwriting. Mm. Um, and right now in my life, it is balanced enough that I can do both in such a way that I want to and grow the way that I want to with that one purpose. Mm. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to limit myself right now, mm. you know, by how I do that. So that's absolutely, uh, yeah, that's a stage. Absolutely true. Of, yeah. But uh, there is only one thing that when you do uh, multiple things, uh, mm -hmm. you, you define less yourself because with a, with a, with a single thing, you, you can move forward uh, in the direction that, and maybe sometimes it's not even the right direction, right. you know, but you move forward uh, defining yourself even more and excluding, which sometimes instead of keeping everything, right, can put more weight on your shoulders. Well, sometimes, sometimes uh, that does have to happen. Like sometimes you do limit yourself by not letting things go and there is mm -hmm. a time mm -hmm. to let things go, but yeah. how many people can be, you know, a wife, a mother, a business owner, let's just say those three things. Mm -hmm. um, and they might say first and foremost, you know, I am a mom, but their career is still very important to them and their, mm -hmm. their life purpose. Like you, I don't think you have to limit yourself to one thing and you, mm -hmm. you can embrace. I mean, we're just, we just look at it two different ways. That's okay. We can agree to disagree. No, 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 no. absolutely. Um, absolutely. It, um, there's another factor uh, to, to, to keep in mind, which mm -hmm. is uh, how much uh, you you need to find yourself to f to find peace. Right. Maybe someone is uh, exactly, is more yeah. at peace than someone else. Exactly. Right. So someone maybe is already uh, I'm fine. Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, I'm fine. And maybe so you can I, keep I, ten I, things. I exactly. go tennis. I go golfing. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I, I don't I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Instead, maybe for someone else is more of a matter of succeeding uh, is the only option. Uh, right. To get out. Yeah. Right. Like and and me, also depends on <laughs> it depends on yeah. what you define. You have to how do you define success? <laughs> as well mm -hmm. yeah you exactly know, that, yes, that also yes, plays true. a huge factor yeah yes. for me it would be the the owner of the globe okay <laughs> good luck good luck <laughs> i'll vote for you i'll go another week so. all right another couple of weeks so. all right you've got this <laughs> oh, but it's good it's good uh, okay my dear this yeah. be fantastic huh? oh well thank you so thank much you for your so time much for thanks your time. for hanging thank out so in much. our corner of the world yeah. yes yeah uh, it's amazing thank you yes. we're, we're delighted to be here. Us. Yeah. oh i Maybe appreciate your time very sounds. much yeah. Yeah. thank you so much yes yeah. thank you <laughs> you guys take care enjoy <laughs> the festival so thank you so much and <laughs> you. uh so let's see who's next <laughs>